Hey guys, Tony here. Um, a lot of people have been requesting SOS for a very long time, and I feel like I haven't done uh, TA for this in, in a while. Um, I didn't realize that it had a huge, huge highs of a hundred and like what? What was it? What was the previous high back in? What was this back in what? October second, twenty seventeen. Like I don't even know what SOS the company does. Um, to be completely honest, I've never looked into SOS, what they do or and everything, but I've gotten so many requests of people asking about SOS and to do a TA uh, on, on SOS. I do think that, you know, there is a chance that it can possibly go back up to 108. Um, like I've said, I've never done, I've never really done a TA on what I actually think it's gonna, might, might actually happen. So uh, I figure this probably might be a really good time to do something about it. Um, as of right now, I did see, so immediately I am already pretty bullish just because, uh, so I guess the last TA that I did, um, or the last time I saw this, I actually, I, I found this gap right here recently that I, that I saw. So I do think it's gonna go back up to at least eventually to 551 and then eventually back up to fill this gap at $9.77. Um, bearish momentum is actually dying, but on the day MACD, you guys can actually see that the, that the momentum is basically downward, right? Like you guys can see here, on the MACD, we crossed over on the bearish side on the MACD downwards, and then we tried crossing upwards on the bear on the bullish side, and we barely, barely, barely had any actually bullish movement towards the upside, where we all where we barely touched the bottom gap. Um, so I do think that the next time we we run up um, on SOS, I do think that it's not it's going to do the same thing. I think that it's going to do exactly the same thing here. It's probably going to stay bullish for maybe like, let's see one two i think it's gonna stay bullish for like two days and i think it's gonna keep dropping all the way down i don't think this is gonna hold especially on the weak chart um yeah on the weak chart everything definitely looks bearish uh, on the macd we're about to um we're about to run on the, on, on the downside for sos uh so everything does look bearish the stochastic again it we just crossed over on the stochastic towards the bearish side and then the trend uh on the adx is looking super super strong so i i would have no um ideally right now i i don't think that it's going to keep going up i think that there's a there's a huge chance that sos goes down to four dollars and 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 prob probably there's a there's another big chance that it drops to three to three dollars and four and 25 cents um yeah I, i'm pretty as of right now i'm pretty bearish i mean there's a chance that it might run up to like 531 and then probably come back down to 422 um, but as of right now, yeah, the way that I see the chart, it's just looking completely, yeah, yeah, even on the Howard chart, man, like it's it's looking completely, completely, um, completely bearish, man. I think it's actually going to cross over again one more time. So the last time we actually crossed over on the chart, we dipped from, what did we dip from? We dipped from five, like sixty-seven, and then on the on the peak low we did four forty-eight. So I think we are we might actually be headed down in that same direction. So. We went from like 567, we did peak lows, we did in 21 hours. So I do think in the next, maybe in a couple of days, I do think that we're gonna drop another dollar and 19 cents from around these levels. Cause it does look like on the MACD, we're gonna be we're gonna be crossing over on the bearish side pretty soon. So I do think that there's a really strong chance that we drop another dollar 20 from where we are here. So I think that we can either drop a dollar twenty or like a dollar from here so down to like if we're at 483 87 i think the next stop is going to be like 380 something so it, yeah basically kind of like the four dollar mark or we can kind of jump up here to the 551 and then drop all the way back down to like 450 so like around right maybe like between this level again uh so i do think that we're gonna we're basically gonna keep trading on the around this price range i don't think we're it's gonna i don't think it's gonna moon out of nowhere um like i said on the week chart it, the trend is relatively strong and it's and we're still on on, on bear, super bearish momentum on the month chart it's still looking like the trend is 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 uh is bullish um but i do think there's a there's a bigger chance that we drop down to four dollars instead of shooting up to like seven dollars or something or even filling up the gap up to the at the tops of nine like nine dollars and seventy cents yeah i think that there's a bigger chance that we drop as opposed to running up so as of right now sos definitely looking uh very bearish i'd have to say that i'd have to argue that you know even though it has these gaps to fill eventually like long term uh, obviously i'm very um obviously i'm very bullish just because it still has these gaps to fill 
um, note that just because something has a gap to fill doesn't mean that it's gonna fill it like in the next day or two. This can, it's, it has this gap to fill, it might fill it in months, in a year or two years, whatever, right? There's, there's gonna be, it's gonna be, it, it, we, nobody knows when this gap is gonna get filled, but it's going to get filled eventually. 95% of the time, gaps always get filled. But as of right now, um, yeah, I, I'm definitely 100% bearish. I think there's a bigger chance that we drop back down to like $4.19 as opposed to running up to like seven bucks it just it just it just looks like we're gonna be headed down and on the week chart it doesn't look like we're actually gonna be um uh what is it called it doesn't look like we're we're we're, we're bullish it, it looks like we're gonna keep continuing this this trend downwards to be honest and and i wouldn't say buy puts now i'd say if we do touch this five dollars and like 30 cents again I, i'd probably be very comfortable buying puts on on sos um, I never recommend shorting. I don't like shorting because you never know where the position is actually going to go. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I do think that um, very strong chance that we run up, maybe retest this 532. But I think evidently, I think we're going back down to like four dollars and twenty cents. That that that's what I generally think. I think we're I think trend is going to keep going down. We keep making lower lows, and that's just kind of that's just kind of what it is, man. Like I mean, we created a lower low here, higher high. And then we created a higher low and then we created a yeah i mean i don't think it's finished yet but as far as market structure it just it looks like it's going to keep continuing down man. i think i think trend sos 100 percent. i do think it's going to keep going down